Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to look in on the twins. These are two one halves of the same barrel, a 55 gallon barrel, that I have been raising my European night crawlers in. This half started as 500 cocoons in 2019, and the other half started out as one pound of adult European night crawlers from Northeast Worms. All right, let me put you up on the tripod, and let's take a look and see what they're doing. Okay, so here we are on the oldest edge of the the wedge for the European night crawlers. Uh, about 75% of everybody said they wanted to do the wedge method with these bins, kind of in keeping with what we were doing with uh, blue. So let's take a look here and see how these guys are doing. Looks like in the old portion, everything is staying nice and loose and fluffy. That's good. Not seeing a large number of worms in any one place, but that's to be expected. This isn't the end that we fed. So we're just kind of looking. Um, I did plant up the avocado trees that were in here last time. They are currently in the windowsill on the porch, at least until it gets too cold. But everything is looking really nice. So we will kind of fluff this up, make sure the moisture is staying good. This is a deeper kind of system, and it does get dry at the bottom. So I think, in my opinion, it needs to be uh, rotated a little bit to make sure that you know we're keeping the moisture even. It is coming into furnace season. It's kicked on a few times so far. So I'm just going to pile that up. And it's no, by no means done. Um, it's probably got a couple of months to go before this is ready. There's just a lot of coconut coir in here. Um, so that's why it may look a little bit more finished than it is. So let me turn you around and we will look at the leading edge of this wedge. So now we're going to start looking over here. I forgot to watch the video, shocker, um, to see how much we fed or what did we feed. I'm not sure if this got started on the worm goo or not. Oh, wait a minute. Seems like I ran into something here. Got a bit of a worm ball. Seems like some paste, like maybe it might be apple goo. Let's move things around here and, and see if I can find more worm ball. Wasn't expecting it. Well, well, but there it is. That's a nice worm ball. That's good. Okay. Let's keep flipping. And still feel more of the paper bedding over at this end. You can see the copious amounts of eggshell. So they're doing a good job. The moisture is staying really nice in here. So I'm going to pile this up here, and then we can start a new little portion of the wedge. I think there was probably, I have to go back and look in the videos, but there was two and a half pounds of worms in here when we started this particular bin. I have a feeling with the extra space, they are definitely taking advantage of it. All right, move you and start the new portion. Okay, and these guys are going to get some of the. Uh, this isn't apple goo. This is tomato corn goo. So I'll give them about one and a half of these 24 ounce containers. Put some of the drier bedding on top. All right, 
you can see they do crawl. If you look up against the, the edge here, they do tend to wander a little bit, even though they're European night crawlers. I know people are pretty interested in, you know, why do my worms move around, and part of it is just their worms. All right, let's go look at the northeast worms. All right, here we are, uh, the northeast worms on the south, yeah, southeast side of the house. All right, let me uh, put you down and we can take a look at the old edge of the, I'm just going to keep saying edge of the wedge. It's a thing now, I guess. I don't know, I'm always shocked when I see these guys. I'm like, oh, geez, look how big they are. Most of my worms, I don't get to see that big. So when I see these guys, I'm always excited. I'm like, oh, look, they're monster worms. They should be breeding like nuts in here. You can see there's a, a younger one. So hopefully they're liking their new house. They seem to be thriving. If you can see that clotellum is, is really raised. I think that means that it has either recently had a cocoon or it is recent or it's going to have a cocoon pretty soon. But they were making a lot of castings, lots of big castings. I mean, it, it, it's logical, but I don't usually think about it, is that, you know, a bigger worm gives you a bigger casting. You know, and that's true of the African night crawlers and, and these particular European night crawlers that are so much bigger than my other worms. All right, let's kind of do some backfilling here and get these guys piled up. Just can't help it. Look at that. They're ginormous. Okay. And I'll move back a little bit more. I don't think we're to where I was feeding yet. Oh, yes, yes we are. Must have fed in the middle last time. See the brand new bedding here. I'm not seeing any food. You know, there's a little bit of goo. A little bit. Got quite a few immature worms in with the food. So that's that's interesting. That the younger worms are in with the food and the older ones are out cruising. Except for this one, he must be the babysitter, right? All right, let's flip you around and look at the leading edge. Okay, I'll just continue flipping through everything here. You see the babies. Babies are on the corn. Children of the corn? It is that time of year for spooky movies. You guys like spooky movies or no? Put in the comments below. Monster worms. Rawr. You're a dork, Ian. Edit that out. Okay, still seeing some... Oh, this is pineapple. It's completely... Completely undone. Little baby worm inside there. So I've got a good number of the adults in here, too. Just amazed. These things are like African night crawlers. They're so huge. They're making nice amounts of babies. Look at all those babies. Hi, babies. Okay. Well, I think they could use some more food. All they've got left is that slow food. We should give them some more. Okay, let me get you put back a little bit and we'll get them some bedding. All right, 
right, I'm going to give them two of these containers full of the apple tomato goo, apple tomato corn goo. Spread that out a bit. Alright guys, if you liked the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.